and we start our journey under the sea where there's fish and big sharks swimming past um, we come up to the surface and look as a sea urchin I think a sea, sea cucumber look at it with all its tentacles glorious 4k definition there David Attenborough's got a lot to worry about oh man uh, there's here's one uh, weird alien-y uh, tentacly starfish thing uh, here's one with Dory from Finding Nemo to swim past I think this is a uh, anemone an enemy uh, rave one. Oh, I'm wondering what these are I know what these are no it's not a galactic map it's jellyfish little baby jellyfish growing on a cylindrical um, thing here's a big shark look at it going all the way down there uh, sharks don't have um, spines here's a sea turtle do you know sharks didn't have spines uh, here's my girlfriend's foot in uh, the light cascaded by the uh, uh, spectrum there did you know uh, if oh, never mind it don't matter I was just going to say something about the spectrum of light between um, Los Angeles and New York. Um, it would be very small what we can actually see, being as in the light. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, waterfall, and here's a little rabbit. This was a very cute rabbit. Um, a little bunny. Had to get in there close with the bunny rabbit. It was washing its little face, and there's some uh, turtles or tortoises. I forget which one. I think the one that we saw before was a tortoise. These are turtles, but anyway, look. Look at them fighting. Fighting to get that lettuce and then territorial over the green stuff. Here's a uh, some guinea pigs and uh, Granddad guinea pig was at number one. Uh, it's just before Christmas and yeah, he popped his head out, but he didn't come out and say hello. He just stayed in sort. Oh, here's a a chimpanzee or it might be a monkey. I am not a professional on this. This one was just hanging out, eating some more lettuce, whilst other primates stared in through the windows, and he's like, well, bugger that, I'm off. And freaking stared at me with my balls hanging out. Um, this little baby one was like, hey, daddy, grabs onto his back, and he's like, nah, get off, I don't know you, you're not my son. And he's like, okay, I'll, I'll go then, bye. Yeah, so it's a bit sad, but there we go, he goes swinging. Oh, uh, and this was a cute one, he was biting his little toenails. I don't know if that's cute. He had some weird yellow thing on the bottom of his foot. But yeah, and then a uh, recent commercial uh, meerkats. Just there, having a break from advertising car insurance. Here were some photos that I took uh, of the various animals. This one's eating a tree. Uh, it's 3.42 in the morning, but oh, the, these are cute. These are very cute. Were, oh, 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 bloody hell. Scared me a bit there. <clears throat> uh, they had very nice moustaches, white moustaches. Uh, yes. 3.42 in the morning and I'm narrating a nature documentary. Uh, glorious 4K. Oh yes, yeah, and birds. See that? Long beaks. Here's some more birds, and there's no there's no shrimp about, so how the hell did these ones get pink? We don't know. Anyway, whilst that uh, that strap is um, hiding that chimpanzee's balls, we'll move on to the next animals. Once that achieved flight, you see that? You see that thing that you dropped? That whatever that was. There's a nice little metaphor taking us into birds, nuzzling birds, birds in love. Oh, they're so cute. There's a kookaburra. Me attempting to call the kookaburra because it was making a hell of a noise. Then when I started filming, it wasn't making a noise. But there we go. Some more birds. Just going on. What do you want? It's raptor eyes. Yes, can I help you? You know. But uh, there's uh, very nice plumage on the birds. As you can see in 4k it's beautiful plumage and yes if I remember the eye gets short smaller watch oh look at that Ooh, angry bit oh look a woody duck 
we uh, me and my girlfriend uh, Casey saw one of these in uh, Abbey Park whilst we were pedalling the boat around. That's a woody duck and that's a redhead duck, I think. I don't know what that one's called. But it's a nice duck. That ain't a duck, that's a bird. Here's a fancy chicken. You see this bloody... Like, yeah, how does not. evolution come up with that? Evolution just goes, yep, yeah, we are just slept random on everything and there we go. Here's a macaw. A parrot, I attempt to give it a nut. A peanut, there you go. And put it through, I don't think it's like, oh, what do you want, you know. Don't think it's very interested. These raptor looking birds here. I try and attempt, and he's like, you what mate? What do you want? And then, girlfriend gives him a nut. He's like, oh no, I want a nut as well. He's like, give me a bit of that nut. And then they both get a nut. There you go. Everyone's happy. They're eating them like ice creams. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, yes. Did you know birds have tongues? They do. Oh, look, here's a Pachycephalosaurus. You know, from Lost World. With the dinosaur. Look at that big Elvis like head. And this one's over here. So I don't want anything involved with that. I'll stay right over here. And he's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. yeah. Here's a ostrich. Triggered. I know it's not an ostrich. It's an emu. Strutting around like it owns a place. Probably does. Like, hello. Strutting around with all its feathers on its neck. Like, yes. Uh, here's the grandma bird cage. Where you find loads of grandma birds. Uh, my grandmother has many of these birds. There's uh, three birds sitting on a uh, twig. Uh, they're gonna look the fighting. I was like, break it up, stop it, stop it, like that, and then they stopped. And then they just sat there. The one on the end's like, oh god, Terry and Jack are at it again, fighting. And then the sun exploded. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sun exploded at this moment, and they still fought. And he's like, oh god, the sun's exploding. But yeah, uh, this is the one that um, tried to have sex with that man's head in that Stephen Fry documentary, I think. Looks like it, I know it isn't, but that power was very excited. You can search for the video on YouTube. Here's a pink one. He's like, wah, wah, wah. Uh, very fluffy, very, very nice plumage. Very nice. Here's one sitting in a hut. He doesn't want to be involved. Oh, and goats. Goats as well. These are winged goats, so they're technically birds. Uh, they're very cute. The wings are very small as well, but they have got wings, so they're winged goats. They technically are birds. Uh, this one is a nice little uh, dicky bird that eventually dropped this nut after recording it. And I tried to pick it up and there was a dead squashed mouse on the floor. So that's very nice. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry you tried to pick up that nut whilst it was next to a dead squashed mouse. I, he's sorry, he's sorry, Dan. Yes, fish. You remember fish? We saw fish a minute ago. There's uh, some fish. Um, zombie birds. Zombie birds here. Yeah, but all zombie birds, they need loving too. There you go, nice little hug, the zombie birds. And uh, yeah, even the undead birds have uh, love. Is is a little fluffy one? Oh, just bit my girlfriend. And I decide uh, I, don't, I like my hand, so I put the uh, coat sleeve over whilst I stroke it. There we go. Nice little birdie bird. Uh, there's a lot of parrots. A lot of parrots around. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're coming to the end of the documentary now, to be honest. <clears throat> Here's one uh, that's lost its feathers. These are rescue birds. And uh, this little chap, I decided to put him on my head. So thank you for watching this nature documentary. There he goes. Sitting on my head. I try to grab him.